this is what we're gonna do. Okay, I got my glue dot. I got my glue dot. See, look, I came ready for y'all. See my little glue dot? I got it. I got it already on here. I got my little flower on my glue dot. Okay, so this is what you do. Let me think. Let, 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 let's let's talk this through. I'm getting excited because I'm I'm finna I'm finna make some. Yeah. Some some we're client challenging you today. That part. Some client is gonna be my victim. They don't even know it yet, but they are. Okay, so what we're gonna do noon is we're going to do a 6D. Uh no, 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 no. We're gonna do a uh point, we're gonna do a um 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 point sixteen. That's the length. Okay, I'm gonna do a point sixteen, seventeen, maybe even an eighteen, because it's gotta be at least four millimeters in difference for the drama, right? And then we're gonna get a nine millimeter, is what I'm thinking. Get a nine millimeter and make a 3D fan. Then we're gonna get a point sixteen and we're gonna do um a 3D and then we're going to stick it on a glue dot. We're going to put the nine millimeter on top of the point of the of the point 16. We're gonna put it on top. And then that way it'll pan out and 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 yeah. But you gotta make and then dip it in the glue. But you're gonna do this with a 0.03, remember, because we want the thickness to stay the same. We're just doing lengths. So we want a 16 millimeter with a nine millimeter. 0.03 and we're gonna make we're gonna make us a make a fan a pro make ahead of time because that takes a lot of, that takes a lot of time yeah i like it sounds good all right looks like we lost somebody um make adjustment to my time let's see what time does she leave 11 30. it says be right back okay now internet went down okay bring us back I'll be in Dallas this weekend to pick up. <laughs> okay, Jasmine, come on. <laughs> so after January, can we be hybrid or only campus? Um, I don't know. The next time that Miss Amy walks by, I'll pull her in here and, and let her and let her address that question. Okay, I won't forget now. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure there are people uh, making sure I didn't miss anybody's question. Okay. All right. So does anybody have any questions about pro made fans? You guys, pre-made fans are heavy. You don't know what that adhesive that they're sticking together. You have no idea. You have no clue what that glue is that's sticking it together. You don't have any clue. At least if someone is selling you pro made fans, okay? If you can find somebody. If someone is selling you a pro made fan, you can always text them instagram them chat them dm them whatever and you can say what kind of glue are you using and the reason being is because once you re-wet that glue and put it in the glue it's mixing with that component of that glue and then you don't know what kind of allergic re or allergic reaction that the client can have to that glue okay and so let's say that the client comes after you and, and she decides to sue you then you don't know if you need them now need to turn around and counter sue the person that made the bromate vans because the, the client was allergic to the glue. But remember, you're going to do a consultation ahead of time. You're going to do a, 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 a liability release form so that that way you won't have that issue. Remember, if we're doing our due diligence, you ain't got to worry about that. No way. But you need to disclose to them that you are using. If you decide to use pre-made fans, you need to disclose to your client that you are using pre-made fans. And not, not trying to be funny, but if you are using pre-made fans, not pro-made, okay? Because they're still you making them. You just made them ahead of time, ahead of the client, ahead of the time that the point of the client. And the client will appreciate that because their time is important. You say, look, I can see, lay, let you lay here and I can make them in front of you for four hours or I can make you and do you a mega volume fan, uh, a set of lashes in two hours because I've already made them ahead of time. It's a no-brainer. They don't care when you made them. They just they just care that you made them. Because to do a full set of pre-mades, you can't charge the same thing as you would make with a pro-made. Number one, you're not going to be able to guarantee the work. Number two, the lashes aren't going to last as long. You know, so there's a lot of things that could, that could go wrong with that. The, the base of it is thick. Over time, over time, you are jeopardizing the healthiness of their lashes over time you are jeopardizing the healthiness of their lashes especially if you if they love the way you lash they're going to keep coming back and keep coming back so if you're not doing quality work with integrity then you're tearing up their lashes each and every time so 
So keep all that keep all that in mind. It's something to think about. Okay. All right. Um. All right. So y'all ready to to see some some fans, mate? Did you miss yes, ma'am? I think Miss Amy took my glue. You sure did. I gotta get my glue back, Miss Amy took it. All right, I found some glue. All right, does anybody remember how to shake your glue? Vigorously, side to side. Perfect, side to side. So you're not shooting uh, glue in up into the neck part of it that's going to be dispelled and you're going to get rid of it anyway. So, yeah, we don't want to do that one. We, we don't want to do that. We want to shake it from side to side. Does anybody have a mannequin out? Is anybody making promades with me? I'm about to. Who said that? Chastity. Chastity. Okay. Hey, Chastity. Okay. She's about to make some plans. Real good, real good, real good. I don't got bougie about my glue. I don't really shake my own glue no more. <laughs> I got a little shaker. <laughs> All right, got my acetone. Oh, let me let me put it on my mannequin. Where's my little baby? All right. Okay. So I don't know. Some of you guys have the crystal.
is missing on the thread and lash and that takes All right, I found. Hours are important right now. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and get your tweezers and all that nice and clean. If you soak it in acetone, make sure that you. Um, okay, Caitlin, that's fine. Make sure that uh alexandria lost connection just get back in when you have a chance no problem um sierra that's fine i see that you're going to rejoin that you'll be back um Arianna, did you get back in okay she's back now yep i've that. been back in for a while yeah, yeah i saw that 11 15. okay cool i'm just now looking at up at the thing jasmine uh, i want some food you can offer me now Sorry, I'm on lunch at work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay. I'm just messing with you. All right. Brittany, where are you doing? Where are you going? Me or Brittany Mark? Brittany, what, you. What am I doing? I'm about to go to lunch with a girl that might be working at my salon. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm not working on my mannequin or I so would be. No, you're fine. I just, I'm just being nosy at this point. I was talking to my mom about getting her lips done on Thursday. That's what she wants for Christmas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you nervous because it's your mom? No, she, um, I told her I could have got mine done at the school, but I didn't want to clock out because hours are important right now. <laughs> yeah, hey, well, that part. Um, which is why I'm it's been wanting hers done for a while. So I was showing her pictures of the girl that we're going to go to on Thursday. Oh, okay. I'm not getting mine done. I'm getting my brows done and I'm kind of nervous. You know, I'm getting my brows done too. Um, getting my brows done by a uh, former student. So she did really good. And um, I seen her, I saw her do some here. So she's doing mine on Friday when I'm out. Huh? Yeah, they they do lips there too, don't they? Yeah, because yeah, she, she did them. I saw her do them when we were at the school. Okay, so make sure that you burp your um your glue, okay? Because this is a brand new glue that I'm using. As you see, there's already oh, as you see, there's already glue in the neck, and I shook it this way to the side. So somebody already either sh it was laying in there, it's laying down. So obviously glue got in there but now oh hang on i need my little if it comes does you know, if you guys got a new glue as you know it comes with the little thing the little needle that you stab it i forgot about that and so i gotta get that out and then you use it if i can get it in there Guys, I'm trying real hard not to break a nail because my little uh my little nails are on their last leg. Okay. So once I stab mine, I, I twist it. And then it burped. Boy, did it burp. It went yeah, all over the place. All right. So then I put mine in my little dish. I'm gonna leave that here for the um, for Miss Monica because she we she and I use the same tile. I'm gonna leave that here for her. So if you guys see that again, just know this tile with the 3D. If you see it again, you know that I left that behind for her. So she wonders where that came from. One of you guys let her know that I left it behind for her as a gift. So she can burp her. So she can use use it if she like if she so so chooses. Okay.
So now we got our glue all burnt. Okay, so get the tweezers of your choice. We're gonna do a couple of pro mates here. And the reason being is because we gotta master, we gotta master making them before we can master placing them. Okay. All right. Let me zoom in as much as I can. All right. So I'm left-handed, so I'm backwards handed. Yes, I am. And okay, so let's talk about our sweet spots. Is everybody did I already go over the sweet spot with everybody? Does anybody want to hear about the sweet spot or or do I just skip that part? Because I don't want to skip that. Can you go over it one more time? Okay. So each tool has a sweet spot, even if it means even if it's from the same company, because what I have done is I've told the girls over over the years, I've told them to get a certain tool, right? And they'll get it and we'll all get it from the same spot, same place, but their sweet spots are different. Okay, because you got to remember a machine is making these too, right? And so the sweet spot is at different places. A sweet spot is when you turn it over to the top of it and you close it where it meets at, where it joins. I'm trying to put it in front of the white tile where it closes. I'm trying to see if I can turn it where it closes. So if you see, see where when I close this, hang on, this is something. Mm. That better? Is that better? Can y'all see that better? It's just the angle of the camera. I think if you do it in front of the pink paper or the pink. Oh, paper. okay. That better? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. So these two tools have two different sweet spots. This one, when you close the top of it, I'm trying to get it to where it. Let me move this over. Okay, here we go. Better. So when it closes, is where it closes. So you notice that this one, when it closes, it closes on the closes on the tip first. This this top part doesn't really close all the way. See when it first touches, see it's almost like a, a V, right? See that? The bottom of it closes before the top, which means that if I close my fan in the middle of that silver part then my fan is going to fall completely apart. Or, and then if this one, this one is different. This one, which is the one I prefer, it closes and a lot of it closes up. See, when it comes together, just more of it closes up. Now, any tweezer, once you push hard enough, it will completely close. But who wants to squeeze the crap out of a tweezer a hundred times? That's gonna get that's gonna give you carpal tunnel over the years. Years. Over and over and over and over and over and over. Think about it. How many times you squeeze that tweezer, right? And if it doesn't automatically close really nicely and really tightly from the beginning, like this is my favorite tool because it, I mean, I can close it with my ring finger. Speaking of ring guys, I walked off and forgot my wedding ring today. He's going to kill me. My engagement ring. <laughs> I called him and said, babe, I forgot my ring this morning. He was like, oh, it's okay. I understand. I did. I had gloves on my mind. I was trying to put my hands in some gloves. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about a ring this morning. So. I had to call him and make nice I had to call him play nice. I figured I'd let him know before he gets home and realize it's still there. So see how this one closes and it closes all the way. So each tool has a sweet spot. You must know, must, 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 must know where the sweet spot is on your tool when you close, because as you're making your fans and you're grabbing them, you're pulling them off the board. Okay. So, I always get rid of the first couple. Okay, so there's, see how I'm, I'm, do you see me, that, that, do you see that when I'm switching back and forth? 
that is a way that you can shimmy it open. See, I'm just, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing the, I'm, I'm almost like gliding the tweezers back and forth. That shimmies it open and you're able to open it. So it's, it's up to you if you want to do it that way. You don't have to, but that's an option. That's one way to make your fans. Another way is to, hang on, let me put my magnifier on. Oh, where'd it go? Oh. Okay, that's better. Another way is to pull it halfway off the board. Grab what you're needing. Always get more and always grab more than what you need. If you're doing a, if you know you got to make a mega volume fan, right? And you grab seven, seven, seven individual lashes, which is a 7D, but you lose two or three of them before you finish. Because remember, you're not finished until it lands and plants itself on the client, right? You got to take it from here. You have to, you may have to move it over to, and move over to another strip and shimmy. Then you got to go inside the glue. Then you got to bring it back. Then you got to put it on the client. If you do on all those steps, there's five steps before it ever gets to the client. So if that's the case, then you could lose a couple of the, the fans or a couple of the uh, lashes, right? So if you grab more than what you need, then it's always a good thing. So what you want to do is you find, you remember where your sweet spot is on your tool, and you pull it halfway up off the board. When you pull it halfway off, halfway off the board, you see this orange strip here? Halfway is at the bottom of that orange strip. Because there's an orange strip across there, and it's a black strip across there. You want to pull up, grab the whole bunch of the whole section of lashes that you want and pull it, pull it to the bottom where the black meets, right there in the middle, where the orange ends and the black begins. And then you take the flattest part of your tweezers and you fan it out. Here, you fan it. Now, you can fan forward and backwards. See how I'm fanning now the back the other direction? Let's say you, you, you got fan happy and you got ready this is your shimmy this is called shimmy you're shimmying back and forth you use the base of it and you make sure that it's parallel with the with the tile moving back this way or forward this way that's called shimmying so you're shimmying and the shimmy that opens your that what that does is that opens your fan okay so you're shimmying and you're opening your fan shimmy 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 now, if I if I open too much, then guess what? I can shimmy backwards and see if I can save it. Now, if you like this one is like you see it is laying like on the board, then you can just grab it, tweeze it, and just get rid of it before you even grab it. You're thinking, okay, that one's out of there. It's already laying over, way over. It's a lost cause. You do this until you get comfortable with your tool. When you first start. It's okay to take time to shimmy. There's no problem with taking time to shimmy. Then once you open it up, now the idea is once you open it up and shimmy it ahead of time, you can decide to take it off and then shimmy it, or you can shimmy it on the strip. I'm showing you the first method was me pulling it off and shimmying with the tweezers in my hand. That's rubbing the tweezers kind of back and forth in your hand to allow them to open up and fan. The second method is the one I'm doing now. I pulled it halfway up off the off the board, off the strip, and then I shimmied it while it's on the strip, and then now I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna grab it. The idea is to grab it and not disturb the fan that you already created. If you find your sweet spot and you pull it off the fan, I don't know if y'all can see that, it's can y'all see that I'm trying to create it we could can y'all see the fan yeah okay so that is let's see one two three four five six seven eight this is an ad i pulled it off and i know where my tool sweet spot is i don't know if it helps to show it so on the white or if it helps to show it on here now i want to dip it in the glue 
I only want if I'm doing a pro made fan, I only want to dip the tip in the glue. Okay. I want to dip the tip in the glue and I want to make sure that I'm gonna then I'm gonna in this little strip here, I'm gonna stick it on my strip. I'm gonna stick it up down here. And I want to do that and let it rest. And let it now. This is the fan that I made ahead of time that I now want to put. This is gonna be this is 11 millimeter 0.03 that I just that I'm making from. So these would typically go in the corner of my lashes. Because people typically they come get mega mega volume fans that are good candidates, or 11 is gonna be the smallest because remember you can't put a mega volume fan in the corners on an antigen lash. And typically the shortest lashes are the ones in the corner, right? So I would have to put a 3D, 4D, 5D, or 6D in the corner. I would have to go back down to a volume fan. That's what we just learned in the PowerPoint, remember, ladies? So we want to put that in the corner. So when I make my mega volume fans, I start 11 is usually the smallest because I'm I'm, I'm putting a, a regular volume fan using those nines and tens. So I usually start out with 11. It's just a habit. So 11 is usually the smallest fan I make. So if I'm doing a pro made, you see I already got one pro made made, right? So I'm ready to go. I got the glue on there. I dip the glue and now my lash, I got my lash here and it's ready to go. Now if I decide that I'm going to when you do a pro made and you're doing a pro made set, I put two pro mates on and then I then then you need to make one put two pro mates on and make one and make your own fan to put it on and then you put two pro mates that's already made that way it helps with your time now if you don't have a whole lot of pro mates already made ahead of time then you know what you got to do right you gotta do make you gotta make two fans right then and there and then you gotta put your pro mate then you put one pro mate on now remember i taught you guys about isolation i use my tool to go in and isolate to open it up ahead of time and then i let the whole tool rest and what i mean rest is i put it you see how i'm pushing that down i know you're thinking oh that's hurting the client but it's not because they've got the ipad on and you got two pieces of tape across there okay so then what I mean rest is I'm no longer gripping and holding this, this tweezer closed. I'm not holding it closed because again, we're trying to avoid carpal, carpal tunnel, right? So once I isolate it, I just let the, I let the tweezer just rest and fall open. Now, the reason why you want to do a good planting on there and really push into the client, and I hate to put it that way, but that's what it is, is so that my my isolation doesn't move i don't lose it because if i'm over here making my mega fans make my make my mega volume fans and then i come back oh man it's already 12 o'clock and then i come back to it then at that point i've lost my isolation well i've wait i've already wasted two two or three seconds trying to isolate i go over here i spend three seconds trying to make my fan and then by the time I come back and I'm ready, I dip it in the glue and I come back and I'm ready to, to, to attach it. Now I've lost my isolation. So if I've lost my isolation at this point, then that doesn't help me any now, does it? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. So the point is to make sure that I really nail my isolation so that I'm doing it. But if you're making pro main fans, you don't have to come over and isolate. Earlier, when I was making making my fan here, making my mega fan, I did not isolate first. The reason being is because we were doing pro mates. If you are sitting and you're just making pro mates, then there's no need to do any isolation because you're not planting them right then and there. As a matter of fact, so that you won't accidentally attach it to your mannequin, <laughs> you don't even have to have your mannequin out at all. All you gotta do is have your towel and your glue out, and then. How I was what I what I was using was an old strip that I had already emptied out. So if you don't have the kits like I like I like I, I had for gifts, um, you just take an old strip. See how this old strip is there, and I, and I never took it off. It's intentional. It's so that I can set my my fans that I make 
and I can just sit them there. And that's what a promade fit that promade fan kit is. It allows you to put all that I can put now. I can go in and fill that kit out in advance, and I can put all my leavens out already made. And don't take your kit out until the client is laying down and her eyes are closed. Okay. If you are doing a pro made set, there's nothing to dis disclose to the client. I'm going to say that again. If you are making a pro made set, there is absolutely nothing to disclose to the client. If you are making, if you're doing a pre made set, meaning that you're not making, if you are using a pre made set, you must disclose that to the client. Because I'm not trying to be funny, but she's going to feel some kind of way about paying you for a pro made, for a professional made set, and you're using pro made lashes. She's not going to want to pay that, especially if she already knows what lashing is about. So don't don't undermine your money by trying to make cut corners to to instead of making your own. The cutting the corner is you making them pro made ahead of time. That is the corner you cut. You don't cut the corner and and buy pre mates. You cut the corner and you make your you make your professional made fans ahead of time. Okay.